So I will be showing you how to install a Waidroid on Arch Linux here. So the Waidroid is an, an emulator that runs Android, which you can install any Android apps or games. So let's begin. So first let's go to Arch Wiki here. I will be putting this link on the description. So, uh, so I'm gonna have to install Waidroid first. Let's go ahead and do that here. Now, I am using a YA as an um, AUR wrapper, so AUR installer. So you can use Paru or whichever one you like. So I'm going to use YA in my case. So I'm going to do YA dash S way Druid. Okay. Okay. Now the way Druid is installed, I'm going to have to go and install the Waidroid with Google Apps support. Now, this is the command that you wanted to um, paste on a terminal if you want a Google App uh, integration on Waidroid. So let's go ahead and install that. Now you're gonna have to first go to um, admin mode here. So let's do that and simply paste the command that it is shown and hit enter. Now this is going to download the Android um, Lineage OS and also with G Google Apps support as you can see here. So I'm going to wait here and um, let's wait until this is done here. Okay, so now that is done downloading. Now let's go ahead and enable this um, on firewall. Now, if you use any sort of firewall, you will have to scroll down and allow this to port right here. Now I am using a UFW firewall. So I'm gonna have to allow these two ports as well as um, this right here as well. Now, if you are using some other different firewall, there is a, um, there should be a, here, right here, you can also do for the DNS as well. Now, yeah, so if you are using other firewall, like firewall these, it will have an instruction here as well. So you can try that. Now, Let's go ahead and do that. So I'm just gonna copy this right here. Okay, so 47 and 53. So let's go ahead and paste. I mean, I meant 67 and 53. So let's do 67. Okay, that has been added. And now let's do 53. Okay, that has been added as well. Now let's try this here. Let's copy this command as well and paste it, which should Okay, and all of that rules has been added successfully here. Okay, I'm gonna exit from the admin uh, shell here. Okay, and now let's go ahead and start Waidroid container service. So simply copy this right here. And so you will have to type in this command. So so sudo system control or system ctl enable dash dash now and you just paste the, the service that we just copied and hit enter. You may have to use your password in here. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and this should be started. Now, so let's go ahead and search for Waidroid on your computer. So I am using KDE Plasma here for my desktop environment. So I'm gonna simply search for a Waidroid and it should be shown here on your search bar. Let's go ahead and open that up. And there you go. Um, let's, let's wait for it to load. 
Okay. Now, you are going to get this error right here, which says this device isn't play protect certified. Now, that means that you can't use your app store yet, but we are going to fix this issue as well. Okay. So in order to solve that um, Play Store issue, uh, you are going to have to go to a link here. So I will be putting that link on the description as well. So let's go ahead and visit that link. And that link is this one right here. So let's go ahead and copy this. Okay. And I'm going to paste it right here. And once you are on this page, you're going to have to go back to the terminal here and basically enter admin again. So you're going to have to type su and hit enter. Just type in your password. And right here, just type in waydroid shell and hit enter. Now, at this stage, I also have a a command that you can enter to get your Android or this or this case Waydroid device ID. Now let's go ahead and copy this command here that I will be putting on the description as well. Let's go ahead and paste and hit enter. And once you hit enter, you will get this long string of number at the end, which is going to be your Waydroid ID. Simply you'll have to copy this and paste it on right here on the Google service uh, framework box here. And you'll have to check on this, I'm not a robot. And let's go ahead and register. And device should be now registered. Now let's go ahead and stop Waydroid. Okay. And I'm gonna reopen Waydroid again. Okay, looks like it hasn't stopped. Uh, so I'm just gonna have to use a command line. So I'm gonna exit the Waydroid shell and also exit my admin. And I'm just gonna use sudo Okay, so this is the command that we previously used to enable the service. So you can basically type in sudo systemctl stop and the service name. Okay, now that has been stopped, let's go ahead and reopen one more time. Okay. Now let's go ahead and open the Google Play App Store. And as you can see, now you can enter your Google email and password to sign in. Now it might, now this did pop up for me as well. Um, if you have already entered the ID, uh, already registered this Waydroid ID, uh, this only comes once. So once you are logged in here and sign in, the App Store should be good to go. And there you have it. And you should be able to install any Android apps and games as well. Thank you for watching this video. And I hope this video helped you installing the Waydroid. Thank you and have a great day.